<laughs> okay so hey guys welcome to another my review so today we'll be doing one of like you know the staples in the sims community which is mc command center now and this mod you know it's listed in descending descending order so the most recent update is at the top so you just click it and you're going to go to the um, It's going to download and you can have MC Woohoo as well. I don't remember what I use this one for, but okay, we'll just get it either way. So, yeah, just those two. You know, you should have the version that corresponds to your update. What am I clear at the most recent update? So, yeah. Yeah, as I add this. MC command center to my game. Look what came up. I do I have some broken CC. You know, I saw them in game, but I keep forgetting to remove them. So let's get into MC command center. Oh, wait, let's use the, from the computer first. So what I usually use this for is basically to cheat through my game. Alright, so let's look at each section at a time. So let's look at MCC settings. So you can auto save your game. Automatically save your game at specific interval. Okay, so you can you can put the name, so let's say it's going to be named MC Save, okay. And the slot number, okay, 111. And the interval amount is 1. Don't know what that means. And interval type. Oh, you can put, okay, so you can put real world clock or you can put sim day clock. So like, you know, for, you know how sometimes the game, you be recording for so long and then the game doesn't save. That's why, that's um, an option. For that, we so have gameplay settings now. So you can adopt an elected child. So that can be on. So when you're adopting a baby, okay, so this is like, when you know a baby is taken away by social services, you can adopt that child. So it's instead of them being taken away. Okay, so this is for skills. You can cheat the skills list. So you can max skills. Or you can um, put a skill level. So you know, put the skill level up or down. I don't know what it is. Okay, character values. So you can change the progress. You basically can amend the game to your liking. So this is how quickly you can gain fame. You can make it faster or slower. The game time speed. You can slow down the game. You can make the game go faster. So you can make the okay. I don't want my game to move from what it is. Um. Maximum house so, so okay, this is what I want to change Because I'm doing the hundred baby challenge. So actually want my house size has to be one of, But the thing with this Is that if you change the household size, you won't just apply to the household that you're working with, you know Sometimes, you know when they randomly generate household So they can randomly generate the household like all 50 people I right, one time there was this um, one lady dog 23 cats stuff like that but i don't think i even need it that high because i won't have the hundred children in the house at once hmm. let's keep it at eight for now for now for now don't need it to be changes yet Okay, so if you want to change the sim name, the maximum length is 14. For first and last, okay, each. So each, the maximum length for each name is 14 characters. I don't think I'm going to have a name that long that I will need to change that. Okay, so motive decay. What 
What does motive decay mean? Hold on. I'm looking it up. I'm having so slow. Is it when you need it? It moves so slow. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, motive decay. Uh, no idea. Moving on. Because that's not loading right now. The pause on zone. They pause the game each time a new zone is loaded. No, I don't want that to happen. I know that would be good because I eventually do that myself. But, you know, sometimes you want to do yourself. Seems a lot. Okay. Enable. Um. Where was I? Skill difficulty adjustment. Since you can make, you know, skill progression harder or easier. Skill difficulty. And this is, you know, you exclude skill from. So after you made adjusting, adjustment. You can exclude if you just want that to just for like say you just want say you want skills to be harder to gain we only want that for cooking and baking so you'd exclude everything else or you can include so whichever list is shorter so like if you just want to do baking and cooking you put that's on the include list but if you know you just you want it to be for everything except baking and cooking you put baking and cooking on the exclude list if you get what I'm saying um skill free okay so this is um skills that you want to freeze you know you don't matter what you just don't want their skill level to move that, that's good for gameplay so this is for teleportation so if you teleport to say um i want to carry over my best friend Sometimes when it teleport, they'll teleport probably like somewhere else on the lot. This, you know, I teleport on top of the same, which is good because I want to find them if I teleport them. And then this is random aging. So, you know, they don't spawn at C or they spawn at random age. Okay, so I guess I'm going to keep everything right here. The maximum household set. I know I will change that in the future. But I'm not ready to change that yet. I'm good at H right now. Okay. Oh, wait. So, where are we now? Money settings. So, allow child pay bills. No, I don't want no child to pay no bills. Apartment bill percentage. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. You can increase the amount that they pay for bills. So zero is the standard. Negative one hundred will be zero. One hundred will be double. Okay, I'm good with the bills amount. Oh damn! I'm good with the amount of bills. I don't really need to change that. Okay, so auto pay bills. Yeah, that's disabled because. I already have um, I'm using the SNB mod for bills so like I don't think you should like if you already have a mod that's like troubling a certain aspect of, aspect of the game you're not supposed to have another mod doing the same thing because you know they're just going to intertwine and going to cause some error so this is if you don't have the SNB bills mod the so child support because if you have the mod and you know it's already doing child support and you have this other mod doing child support you're going to have a lot of madness going on in the game. Okay, so inheritance, sim type. So you can get inheritance when the non in. Okay, so none because I can't bother. And then we have the same thing for spouse. So you say that spouse gets the inheritance first. And then the children. Okay, so that's enabled. And I'll just play with all of this first. And then like change them to my liking. As I said before, I'm not going to be playing with the child support. Okay, so next. 
notification console and maybe settings. What is this? What is the current order? Oh, this is for this is for um, the MT command center. Okay, I, why would I want to change the order? Okay, so this is basically for notifications. So whether or not you get the notifications, of course I want the notifications. So yeah. Um, font text. Okay, so this enable text. Show many settings. Okay. Not a thing that really matters to me right now. Relationship settings. Okay, allow team parenting. Yes. Actually do because I think no. Let me leave it off for now. Because then I I'll just start playing back my game. So break up settings. Break up move out sim. So you can move out the male sim. Alright. Cup relationship, okay. I'm just showing you these. I'm not going to change them as yet. Don't even know if I want to change them. So friends decay. So this is basically if you the normal decay. Yeah, let's stick with the norm. I just keep closing. Um, we have friendship difficulty adjustment. So the same thing. Use if it's quickly or slower. Oh, the whole okay, so this is basically why not you know they'll forget after a while, you know, they don't talk. The relationship will drop whether romance, friendship or anything. This is the same thing how fast they get um romantic and this is how fast they lose the romance. So like if you don't see them in a while, I'm not going to feel that way about you anymore. So this is the age span duration. Okay, so this is what I'm definitely going to change because I want to increase these. But I should have wrote this down. Okay, so say a baby. Let's write it down right now. So a baby. What do you consider a baby? A baby is like one to. I also want to two. Yeah. So let's put one year is equal to how many days? Let's put one year as 12 days. So a baby would be for 24 days and you know that um oh you don't need to i think you need to restart the game after you change stuff yeah i think you do even though it doesn't tell you so a toddler now okay so i give a toddler probably from three to ten why they give us seven days okay so toddler is three to seven Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's way too long. I'm making these too long. I believe we cannot believe for 24 days. Let's put it in a half and put it back at 12. And then put a toddler. Three, four, five, six, seven. A toddler for 17 days. Seventeen days are pretty short still. But 24 days is long. 17 days. How long is that? They have them a toddler. Okay, 17 days is not that long. Toddlers are annoying. I'm going to change my um, baby to 12. Okay, so now child. Let's put it at 23. I'm just adding 10 to these. 
and then team let's put it at 31 yeah i want them to you know have enough time to do all the stuff that i want them to do i don't want team to be a bit longer than 31 young adult now okay so let's put this at 50. I don't want team to be closer. Probably 40. Just a little bit. Deep. Oh, do you want to be a team that long? Do I need them to be a team that long? For 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 40 days. Uh, let's put that 31. Okay. So I don't know. Let's put it at 43. These are like random numbers. An elder. Let's put it at 24. Okay, so this is how I expand my same to lifespan. I think dog and cat should be the same. One day. Put that three. No, let's put that five. I want those to puppy for a while. And then they have the adult dog for 17 days. That's fine. Human dog. No. <laughs> Human dog. Hold on. Let's go back to that. And the dog. Five days. Alright, that's okay. So cats now, I will never play with cats, I hate cats so much. Let's do the same thing, five days. Or maybe I'll play with cat in the game, but cats are, I don't know, 21, alright, that's okay. And then elder, six, alright. Maybe I want to increase the age span of the young adult. I know I like my things to be young for a while. Let's put it at 60. If I if I feel like I just eat them up, simple. Okay, so that's it for MCC settings. Now look at MC cast. Oh, this is so long. Okay, let's go through this. Okay, so this is. Okay, you can set the, okay, so, when a sim becomes celebrity level 4, the automatic, automatically get celebrity walk style, okay, you don't change walk styles on age up, this only um, at, pertains to teen, adult, teen, young adult, adult, elder, you know, they keep the same walk style. Or you can change the appearance of my tear. You can know the things, you know, it's basically a cheat mod. So, you can change your body structure right here. You just put in the figures and you put in a value and it changes it. Don't want to change it because I can't bother change your back. Same thing here. You can set the walk style. So, if you leave cast and you forget to put the walk style, you can put it there. For offspring, you can pick which parent physical attributes you want to use. So, yeah, you can, you know, customize your baby. Uh, moving on, MC car, you can. Don't know what I mean. <laughs> You can select how difficult you want them to go up the carrier ladder, whether or not children are allowed to quit school. Um, I don't know what that is. You, you click, you know, how quick they can do their homework, how fast, you know, how long it takes them to do homework. So, you know, you can adjust that there. Um, what else? What else? Secret Society, I don't play with that. Queen teens are allowed to quit school. 
so you can enable disable this so you know they don't have to go so um school will come like a job essentially same thing for university how how easier or how hard it will be to get in and how quickly as soon as they will finish their homework i try to hurry up and go through it because you know it's a lot so this now you can use this to clean up all the relationships all the relationships and I certain a lot relationships with pets basically clean up relationship you can clean out okay my name da ah, never notice so they can, the last names will change to match nice um this will it's basically like it's not really cleaning it's just like resetting stuff to the OG original thing in the game not really a cleaner and these are for clubs I don't play with clubs so I don't even know what to tell you about that MC dresser so you can oh you can look at the outfits here so you can look at You can make more outfits. What is this? So this is basically so you know how um, the game generates sims. So you can put you know the chance that you know the sim will have more than one outfit. You know more than like when sims when the game gives you sims to only have one outfit. So you can you know replace the outfit so you can create your own your own outfit so when they're going to humor festival you have an outfit for that when they're going to university stuff romantic stuff you know that's for like um the events that the game keeps um so this is when they came when they come home from work or school you can select which outfit they should automatically get into. Okay, moving on. Makeup settings. You get the whole idea of the mod, right? That I have to get you all of this. Because there's so much stuff. We have MC Chessa. Where you know, it's basically. Oh no, this was not all done. We have MC Occult. Which is basically aliens, mermaids, you know, those people. So for aliens, you know, you know, they always get adopted. So, <sighs> it's all about adoption, how much aliens are in the game, how, what's the chance of you being pregnant by an, what's the chance of you getting pregnant by an adopted alien, etc, etc. Next, we have MC population, which is basically, you know, how much persons can be on a lot what happens when you move this is um so seems in home so this is basically the npcs they will just move into random homes so there will be like any empty homes like that okay and some other stuff maximum household pets okay i think you have the game automatically have a maximum amount of pets you can have at least you can try it a bit further And how oh, it goes again. You have um, population settings, so how much percent of baby's population, percent of toddler, what's the butler's age. Um, so you know, you can, if you, can you know, butler's supposed to be like adult or young or elder basically um we have about stories again we have other settings which is clowns immortal sims okay so maximum sims and so on so you can select how much sims i kind of like have a lot of sims one place so for example if you go to the restaurant you know you want a bunch of people there you don't want just 20 people that's good but the thing okay what you need to know is when you change these settings they can cause your game to like lag and stuff like that remember you you're bypassing ea default you know like how ea have a limit of 80 households when you have more than 80 the game starts lagging just like that 
So you just do not need to know. Okay, so oh, for this one, I need to restart the game for it to take effect. So yeah, um, MC pregnancy. Okay, so you know you can make the same pregnant. So you can show you know what age you can adopt. So baby, toddler, child, teen. Okay. Adoption person male. Yeah, you just change not if you can. So that's about that's the mind. You can make a sim pregnant right away. So the channel gets no identical offspring. I want it to be higher. I want it to be like seventy eight. Um maximum offspring so this is this is during one pregnancy so during one setting can only have um, the most can have our triplets i don't think you need to be want to have any more than that offspring gender male and female yeah um same child surname okay yeah, you can. The child can keep the surname. I can change that myself if I want to. So maximum household children. What the maximum number of children that will have during their lifetime is three. No, that's where fifty because who wants three? Okay, so next. Okay, so that's about it right here. We can look at other pregnancy. Hello, pregnancy aging, disabled, yeah. I don't want my sims to age when they're pregnant. Um, you can pause a sim pregnancy. So you can go here and click on a sim and pause them. Um, how long is pregnancy? Three days. Let's make it six. So two days for each trimester. Okay, so for some of these, you need to close the game and reopen it for them to uh, take effect. Okay, moving on. Thousand selection and force family. Okay. Okay, so these are just some more stuff that you can play around with. There's a lot of stuff, you know. So just read them, go through them. Uh, okay, so MC pregnancy. Um, that's what I was on. Go to MC2 now. Well, uh, you know, you change interactions, change in autom autonomy. Yeah. Now you can make proposal disabled. Mm. So, you know, you can make some of these happen on their own. I like to have some control in my game. So, MC Woohoo now. So, you can put, you know, uh, the child will be the percent, 80%. That's a lot. Okay, but a child for baby. Okay, the risky who will percent. Zero. No, let's put it at 50 because it's risky. Ah, uh, it is too high. Let's put that 33. Okay, so. Oh, why I change that? Oh no, let me not, because I don't know if I'm going to use this mod. Oh, probably even delete the whole section, because no. Alright, so, okay, so that's it, and you can reset settings, so you know everything that you change can go back to normal. So, when you click on the scene, you also have the option to do this again. <sighs> I'm so tired. Now with this. You can 
modify her in cap but if you click that you're just going to take it straight to cap Okay. So Carbonate show box. Girl, leave alone. I say she's in cast. Just like regular, but you can't change these stuff. So you can't change her trait or anything like that. But you can, you know, give her more. You can change her outfit. You can change her body type. Can you? No, you can. We can give her tattoos and stuff like that. But yeah. Okay, so one thing you can do is, okay, so you see her needs are kind of like low. You can go to MC Command Center on the sim, MC Cheats, Make Happy, and it's, you know, everybody's green. So yeah, you can increase funds from here, so you can add $10,000. Each there just like that. Um, you can complete the aspiration zone, they can reset the aspiration, you can reset the sim. But this is probably like if the sim is stuck or something like that. Oh, cheating info you can cheat in their career expansion, cheat. I think this is like university and stuff here. Yeah. So you can give them a degree even though they went to university, you can just award them a degree or stuff like that. Like this is kinda good for storytelling, you know, like when you want to, you know, just create the background information on someone. MC pregnancy, you can, you know, let your pregnancy start. And you know, you pick someone random. You can see the child a male child. Okay, and you know, she's pregnant. You can put her in the third trimester and hold on. So you see she get the stomach and whatever. But I don't want her pregnant. Well that's the good thing about this, you know, you can do so much stuff with it. Where did I just get that from? Oh, here it is. And you can pregnancy end. So just clear it. Just like that. And next we can do is can change relationships between person. Um you can you know change outfits etc etc. So like you know to just you know automatically change your outfit you don't have to click the dress on the chair, go to the dress on and change it is automatically just change it so you see you can just change it all around okay what next 
and the cleaner so you can clean out you can sell everything in the household inventory so you know sometimes you have so much stuff but you you don't want to sell them one at a time you can do everything like this yeah a lot more you can just you know go through them and click and you know learn for yourself you can do so much oh you can even change your age say i think she's three in 31 uh, you can you know set her to a toddler or a child or an elder so yeah this video is getting too long but yeah so it's everything that you know you think you can do you can do it in this game so anytime you feel like you know like you when you're in game you say i wish you would just age up you can do that in it i wish you know i could make her young but you can do it i want to just change your clothes so it's basically like a cheating mod to make like it easier essentially so yeah that's what i use it for i don't know anybody use for that that's what i use it for and also picks up you know this stuff so yeah that's it for this mod i'm going to exit my game so those things can be updated but yeah that's essentially it for this mod thank you all for watching i'll see y'all next time